Hey, good morning, everybody. This morning, we're going to make a fried egg and cheese sandwich. Something simple, quick, easy. Something the whole family can kind of enjoy. Something that, for these school mornings, makes it really easy to just kind of throw something together and so the kids can get on their way to school. Now, the easiest way to do this here is we're just gonna put about one tablespoon of butter into the pan. We're gonna try to make sure that that kind of coats everything here. Super quick, super easy. Something the kids will love. Actually the whole family, honestly, I mean. Let's go ahead and do that. That over there, perfect. Right, now I'm gonna immediately just go ahead and throw my cheese on there. I'm gonna turn my pan just a little bit. All right, now, as far as the eggs go, let's go ahead and crack those open. Now, I'm just gonna kinda tap it in there. Oh yeah. Now, depending on how you like your eggs, I mean, you can go over easy, kind of like this, where you still get a lot of that juice. You can break it like I just did and go a little bit more over hard. Now, I'm just gonna go over hard because I'm making this for the kiddo and she doesn't like runny eggs. There we go. All right, let's just let that sit for a minute. going on let's try to check on our toast let's see here all right toast is doing good let's try and get that egg off there all right there we go now usually you can do this in the, you know separately i'm kind of in a rush this morning got things to do so like most people during this whole you know Stay at home, homeschooling kind of thing. Just kind of trying to get by and do the best we can with what we got. So, let's go ahead and turn that around. There we go. A little bit more like that. I'm just going to let those eggs cook up. And I've got my heat set pretty low. I'm sitting at about a four. So, let's just kind of keep that right there. Perfect. Now, let's see here. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and pull that bread. I know that cheese isn't quite melty melty. I'm gonna set that one over to the side. Now, to make this a little bit easier, let's separate the eggs. And like I said, you're just doing this on a real low heat, so. Okay, let's go ahead and get that a little bit more flippy flippy. There we go. Now, like I said before, this is this is for people who just kind of need something quick and easy for the kids. It's simple. It doesn't take very long. I mean, we've been at this, what, minute and a half, two minutes? Can't quite tell. All right, three and a half minutes, almost four. So getting a little long on the tooth. Let's go ahead and flip that over one more time. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just... Lay that right in there. Okay, there we go. I wanted to add those eggs on top of the cheese because I want that cheese to get really melty. It's a thicker cheese, so it does take a little bit more time to melt, but you do want that, that nice melty, melty consistency, you know? Cut off a little excess there. As you can tell, that crust is just a nice golden brown there. Kind of a two-handed thing there. All right. So there you have it. That is your fried egg sandwich. All right. Let's go ahead, get this cut, serve it up. All right. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, let's go ahead and get that a little cutty-cutty. Just like 
like that. Oh man, look at that cheese. So much cheese. So you can kind of see here. Right, let's take a look. Now this is what I mean by melty, melty cheese. Oh, look at that gooey, gooey goodness. Nami. So good. Anyways, all right. So that's fried egg, cheese sandwich, fried egg and cheese sandwich. Have a great day. Enjoy your breakfast.